into your eyes is like watching the night sky or a beautiful sunrise well there's so much they hold very young and Bruno <laughs> and they took me in like a dog and they are family to me and I want oh, Dave and I to eyes, grow right? older just like them older <laughs> can you skip that part <laughs> <Go to the night. laughs> and we love you Oh, sorry. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Thank you. That's it. Yeah. Stars. I see that you've come so far. To buy lice medicine for someone. <laughs> <laughs> and our conversation went on the lines of. Uh, did you see the size of the slice? <laughs> I said, you know, they probably feed them, I don't know, maybe cereal. <laughs> but uh, uh, I love them. They are my family, and they were so gracious to take Bob in, like the white token that he is. <laughs> you know, I can't. <laughs> now, you too, your turn is coming. <laughs> but, um, you know, I love you guys. I love you guys. You're wonderful. You're like uh, more than a brother to me. And you're my sister. I love you. I love you guys. How old you are? How old is your soul? And I guess we couldn't ask for better people to be in our lives, to be more like parents, friends, and anything that we need or who we need them to be. They're always there. So. I'm glad you're together in 30 years. Hopefully, I'll get there. <laughs> you will. You got that, John? She will. Life. A second family to me. I know the first day we met in Jen and Jeff's backyard. She was grilled me hardcore. Wanted to know everything about me. Quiet. And of course, immediately, two August here, Bruno was like a friend, you know. That me, I was. But they already She read. was like, wanted to find what was wrong with me. <laughs> but now, like, I think she likes me finally. She doesn't. She actually doesn't. She hates you. Yeah, I mean, you guys represent everything anybody could ever want in a relationship, you know. And you guys are an awesome couple, power couple, and, uh, you know, I love you guys a lot. Hey, I'm the Mino. Well, everybody knows I'm the anti-social one. She's too old there. Uh, it pisses me off because she makes me like stand here right now and talk to her. <laughs> she makes me. Well, they gave me my first bike. Aww. I was cute. I was very little. <laughs> From that point on, I don't have nothing else good to say. <laughs> In effect, and I'm looking around. Look at that. He says, yeah. these, are, these are two wonderful people, and we're all lucky to be part of their lives. Yeah. On us, even if the skies. Get rough. I'm giving you all my love. I'm still looking up. First of all, Uncle Bruno right here, he helped me his life growing up. My dad and my mom was there, but he was the one who raised me. He was there like building planes for me, out of like crafting planes out of the woods cutting woods, crafting planes, and making the big air force to make me happy. Mm -hmm. Because my daddy did the, like, as a worker, not say that he didn't have the time for that because he had the time. He was working and like going to school, but he had the time to expand with me. Mm -hmm. And when he 
built for me those airplanes. I was like, oh my God. And he was always there for me. Like when he moved out of the house and he went to live in Cascavel, that was, I just crashed. I was like crying like week, like weeks. I, I just went out. So I thank you for that, you know, to raise me the way I am, like I'm picturing you and want to like not be like you because I'm never going to be like you, but at least like, you know, get the same steps that you did, like, like raised Jenny. I couldn't raise my son the way you did, like the way you raised her because he's there. But I'm trying to take the same path that you did with her, with him. And then when you found the <laughs> evil blonde right there, <laughs> all right? I was like, I was like, damn, who is she? And I was like, I don't like her. <laughs> but she found a way to dig herself inside my heart. And that was With a knife. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got so tight and so close that you know. And then she got we, we got like so tight, so close. And then I was like going through like tough times back in Brazil, and they like helped me out to get here, you know and like help me through this process, you know, how to get a life right here. So that's what I have to thank you guys. You know, now I'm here, I'm established, I'm happy, I have my wife, my family right here. Aww. You know, and I gotta just thank you guys for that. Love you guys for the bottom of my heart. I wish you like many, many years just the way you guys are now. Some good and bad memories growing up. <laughs> you know, me and my Uncle Paul, we used to be like devils. Oh <laughs> still <God>. are! <laughs> one of the reasons that, to especially me, yeah. I'm still alive, it was because of Aunt Era, because when my grandmother used to be the shit out of me, <laughs> she was always across the road, and she used to come and take me out of my grandma's when she was hitting us, you know? And she was always, always there. Um, it doesn't sound good, but she was <laughs> yeah, she um, was. You know, for, for the good and the bad, um, especially with the family. And I'm sorry, I'm very emotional. We all are. But she was always there, like I said, for the good and for the bad. She always believed in me and Wagner too. Um, you know, we are not a perfect family. We have our issues like every good family does. But they are always there. So thank you for that. Zivendestar.